Hey everybody, it's the 24 year old Trekkie and my husband Brandon, Hello. who I reluctantly dragged into doing this with me. So thank you for coming and being in a video, which I know you hate. Pleasure. <laughs> Uh, happy first contact day to all you Star Trek fans out there. Also, to all you not Star Trek fans. Uh, if you don't know what first contact day is... Excuse me. Were you just indicating you weren't a Star Trek fan? I'm a Star Trek fan by osmosis, I guess. <laughs> We're getting there. But for all of you that don't know what first contact day is, I recommend that you look it up. Uh, either type in first contact day or April 5th, 2063. You'll find out some interesting things that you should go and watch in Star Trek. But I had indicated about a week ago that I was going to do an unboxing video and then life happens and I didn't get around to it. But I thought what better day to do an unboxing than on First Contact Day. And last week we had agreed to do Spock in an unboxing, but I have a few other figures that I thought would be very appropriate to unbox as well. So today we're going to be unboxing, if you saw on my feed earlier, we're going to be unboxing Spock that we have here. Exciting. We are also going to be unboxing Captain Kirk. Okay, here he is. Nice. And then finally, we're going to be unboxing uh, the captain's chair from the original series, which is right here. And if you look on the side here... It'll have Kirk sitting in it. Is that the side that he's sitting in? <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to pose Kirk in the captain's chair, hopefully, if we can get him to sit in that position. Maybe recreate a scene or something. Oh, I didn't know we were doing that. <laughs> we could probably pose both of them around the chair. If you want. Yeah. Because Kirk like, sits in the chair and Spock often stands like right behind him. That would be cool. But... Uh, if you didn't already see when Brandon was showing you the boxes, these are all QMX figures. Uh, they are Master Series 6 scales. Uh, the caption share is also a 6 scale, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, could you pass me that really quick? Yep. So there's little, uh, I guess, descriptions printed on the boxes that I'm just going to read to you really quick in case you are interested in getting any of these figures after you see us unbox them today. So for the captain's chair, it says precisely scaled for QMX's Star Trek six scale collectible figures. This replica of the most famous chair in TV history is authentically styled based on the original set prop. It features multiple light and sound configurations and swivels on its base, just like the full size prop. Armrest buttons control four different light and sound settings, standard bridge operations, ship-wide announcement, view screen scanning, and red alert. It also requires two AA batteries, which I had to run out and get earlier. But um, I'm looking forward to Do you want to read the rest of them? Or? Yeah, sure. You want to pass them over? Yep. We'll switch. It's oh, it's on the back? Okay. So for the Captain Kirk... We have, on Star Trek The Original Series, Captain James T. Kirk led the crew of the Enterprise through three seasons of sci-fi adventures. Also, some movies. <laughs> uh, in this sixth scale, Captain Kirk authentically recreates this iconic character. Standing approximately 12 inches tall, every detail from his 23rd century Starfleet equipment to his leather-like boots is authentically reproduced. For over 50 years, Star Trek has been a cultural touchstone and inspiration for all aspiring space travelers. QMX is proud to celebrate that tradition by bringing everyone's favorite captain to the Star Trek collectors everywhere. Ooh. And then last and one. And we got Spock. Last but not least. Most certainly not least. Um, the last paragraph's the same. I thought it might be. <laughs> uh, Spock. On Star Trek The Original Series, Mr. Spock was the first officer of the Starship Enterprise and best friend to Captain James T. Kirk. In this sixth scale, Spock authentically recreates this iconic character, standing approximately 12 inches tall, every detail... Oh, I think it says the same thing. Every detail from his 23rd century Starfleet equipment to his leather-like boots is authentically reproduced. Um, same thing, but it's Spock. <laughs> That's a little different. <laughs> Um, if you didn't already see on the front of this, it shows Spock with a phaser and on the back, he's got a tricorder. I also thought, um, when Brandon first, Brandon gifted me these figures, by the way. So best husband in the whole world. <laughs> I love the, the box art on the side. It has this cool little, um, it's like they're being transported up. I don't know how well you guys can see that. 
but um, I think that's a really cool touch. I think another thing to note too is that uh, all of these figures come with different gestures for their hands plus um, accessories like she had just mentioned. I know Sp Kirk also comes with f phasers and different gestures for his hands. He has a communicator too, yeah? Yeah, right there. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, so I think we should start with Spock. Okay, good idea. You think um, that's okay? Okay, we are going to start with Spock. Okay, so like before, it's a 1-6 scale. Um, lifelike sculpt of Leonard Nimoy, who played Spock in the original series. If you turn it around, I can see the back too. Here, like we said, it comes with all assortments of hand gestures plus accessories. Then from the front, you can actually see what comes inside the box. It's kind of hard with a reflection, but... That's all right. We will open up the box for you. Or Brandon will. Brandon's all about this. <laughs> he has many figures. Not Star Trek, but still figures. Maybe we'll show them later. you hold it up to them they might be able to see a little bit better so this is exactly how he's going to show up oh, we got oh no this ain't fell so out let's just do this instead <laughs> uh, there's mine right yeah one thing i think is really cool about these figures is all of the different hand gestures that they have because of the versatility that oh wow <laughs> nice that it provides to be able to pose in different poses. Uh, you can set them up one way, and then when you have walked by it enough and looked at it and want it in a different pose, then you can have it completely different, which I think is cool. Yes, live long and prosper. <laughs> long live prosperous. Yeah, nice. We don't really need a phaser on the bridge but I will leave it there. It makes for nice action poses. Ooh, uh, did they see this? Yeah. yeah. Plus it comes with this really nice base to pose him on. I can get it out. Is it taped in? Mm, no, I don't think so. It's just really well formed to the box, I think. Yeah. Here. You can check me, yeah. I'm gonna take, he's got this little, plastic wrap around his hands and feet that I'm going to take off very carefully. There we go. Here's the base that he comes with. And this is where you would insert the stand that holds him. He's uh, in like dynamic poses that he wouldn't normally be able to stand up on. One thing I always loved about the original series was their pants that are cut above their ankles. They're so cute. <laughs> Also, you can see Spock's got a mask on because coronavirus. <laughs> that can be funny sometimes. This one is really stuck on there. Oh, there we go. You couldn't see that, but I was shaking my head. Uh, he does that a lot with me. Um, one thing I think that I didn't know so much about before until you told me about it is that when you have figures like this with its actual fabric, I don't know that you can see super well, but it's actual like fabric on there. So depending on the figure that you have, you have to be really careful when you pose it because if you stretch out the fabric enough, then when you have it in a less dynamic pose, it looks saggy. Yeah, it'll bunch up and wrinkle and then yeah. you can't really get that out. And that is too bad, so. Uh, nice thing about this one though, I think that the fabric, it's not really gonna do that even if it is in a dynamic pose. I know like some of my other ones, they actually have rubber on them that stretch out and stay stretched out if you keep them in a certain pose for too long, but I don't think that's going to happen with these figures, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, what do we want to do for hands? Because right now, if you can see, he just has the, just has regular hands here. If you lift up the sleeve a little, you can see how the hands detach. Uh, what, what, what are we thinking we want to see him do? Um, I think it would be really nice 
a really nice gesture if Kirk's kind of sitting in the captain's chair and Spock is kind of like standing behind him with his hand on the chair like I'm behind my captain if he needs me for anything cause... okay I think we should set up Kirk in the chair first then that way we can mold Spock around the setup true that's a good point well you got to see Spock uh, the ears are perfect. I think the the sculpt. The head sculpt is great. Yeah. It really does look like Nimoy. Plus, we've got this little. Maybe it's ironed on. I think it's ironed on, but it's nice that there's texture differences in this. You can't really tell from the camera, but it actually pops a little bit. That's really yeah. Nice. nice. All right. We are going to open up. Do you want to do the chair or do you want to do Kirk? Um, I don't see why. I don't see why we can do both. How about you open up? Okay. Kirk, and I'll open up the chair. So, um, on the back of this here, you can see that Spock's got or Spock. My brain. <laughs> Kirk. Guys, I know the difference. Trust me. Uh, Kirk's got a communicator there. And I'm going to lift this up. Similarly to the other box, you get to see kind of on the bottom here all the different hands uh, that you have the choices of choosing from. Here's the front. There's a glare, so I apologize there, but we'll get him out of there in a sec and then we will see what he looks like so on the box the chair looks tiny but that is not the case i know it's all one six so i should have been able to tell but well someone's got another six scales got to sit in it <laughs> this definitely caught me off guard like i just did not expect it to be that big it's easier if you look at the perspective on the side of the box. Yeah, I know. I just, yeah. I just <laughs> you're like, mm, I didn't think that. Oh, it's taped. I'm trying to be very painfully careful with the boxes. Um, I am like the clumsiest person I think you'll ever meet, so I'm terrified of breaking something. It's, I it's cushioned. Can I sit in that chair? Can I sit in there? It actually like feels really comfy if you were to actually sit in it. It's really cool. I'm gonna try my best to stand Kirk up the best I can here. Look at all those different hands. We got a communicator. We got a phaser. Oopsie. There goes one of the Got a nice little iPad. That's cute. Okay, let's pull him out of here. <laughs> Just take this off first. Yeah. Also, face mask, coronavirus. He also has, oopsie, a pad here. Do you want me to, do you want me to add the uh, batteries on this? Sure. Why not? Then we can hear the different sounds. Gotta get this plastic off here. Oh okay, I'll be right back. Did he break it already? Man. Oh, screwdriver. I appreciate you bringing me two batteries, but this needs three. I thought it said two. Oh, dang. Did I not read it right? Where's the back? Oh, it does say three. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> nice. Oh, one thing. I, once I get this plastic off here, I don't know that you can see really well. 
I'm gonna try to show you guys the best I can here. There's an actual, like on the sides of the boots, there's an actual zipper there. I don't know that you can see. Um, I obviously don't think it actually zips, but a uh, fabricated zipper, which is cool. Also, the like the yellowy, almost yellow green is very easy to see in this. It doesn't look so much as like um, like that mustardy yellow as it does kind of that little bit of the yellow green hue, which I really like. Also, does that not look exactly like William Shatner? Because I think it does. Maybe get a different angle. Let's see. The shadows kind of <laughs> didn't do it justice. Uh, does that not look just like William Shatner? I think so. I personally think the, uh, it looks really nice, but I think the... You think the spark is better? Yes. Oh, man, I don't know. I like them both. Also, some of those zippers might actually work. I know on my, um, Captain America Winter Soldier, or Captain America Civil War figure of the Winter Soldier, his jacket actually zips up and down. Yeah. Hmm. Fancy. So, I really, um, can I see the box really quick? Yeah. So the box here has this fun little Kirk in this little... Ooh. How do I make it stop? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. That's cool. I like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How do I... Is it still going? Yep. Red alert, yeah. Okay, you just okay, cool. Um, has has Kirk in this little like sideways swagger that I really like. So I think that we should try to post him like this. I'm sorry, we have a dog that wants to be everywhere. Um, it looks like to me, I'm gonna move this over here. That he has just the regular hands in that photo. Yeah. What do you think? What do we have here? Yeah, I mean, they're just general wrestling hands. Anything that's not like an aggressive gesture would fit nicely. Actually, I kind of like him pointing. He has this pointing gesture. What would he be pointing at? Like the view screen? Something. Okay. Like, like a, I like that. One of these. I like it. We can get this out of here. Okay. Um, we, this is a right hand. We can be knife handing someone. In the captain's chair? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, let's do this first. I like the pointing, as if like he were pointing at something on the right, view screen. Let's get this out of the way for your house second. Pull it up. You want to pick him up so they can see him? Yeah. We'll do that. Dang. Let me, let me, Sorry. Let me fix the camera angle again. You can't see my dog. <laughs> All right. So where where are we? Um, we were going to replace that hand. Um, the other one should just be... Right, so let's carefully do this. Sitting flat. There's like so many choices here, it's actually really hard to pick. And we might get these hands on and decide we want something else. <laughs> I don't know. That happens all the time. <laughs> Oops. Here. Um, I guess I'll just put that That can be kind of a, a tricky thing. To get the hands on? Yeah, without trying to mess with the fabric or anything else. Do you want me to pull the, the shirt sleeve up? Yeah. Well, you want me to hold it? That's a good idea. There we go. Okay. Just pull that back down to hide that joint. The, I like that the head is also very mobile. He's very dark. We want you to join Starfleet. Well, why don't we get... If we're gonna pose him sitting, why don't we pull this up? Let's do it this way so that they can see a little bit of it. Alright, so... We have... Also, once again... This is the reference photo that we're using. So the nice thing about this is we have a mobile torso that bends in and out. That's definitely going to... Oh, it kind of like snaps back. That's interesting. Alright, anyways. 
So let's pull these pants up a little bit so we don't punch them up. Kevin Kirk wants to sit up straight. <laughs> just kind of like lean back just slightly. Yeah. Let's kind of get rid of some of this bunching here. Each each person that sits in the captain's chair kind of has that slouch. unique slouch because they're not all the same. Yeah. The one that I think is the most prominent is probably Riker where he like leans way off to the side and is like, mm. oh, that's nice. Yeah. How did I get him to lean back? He looks so stagnant. There, that looks better. Like okay. that? Yeah. Alright, what, what do we want his other hand to do? Um, he usually has it like ready Let's... to either indicate on one of these buttons what's gonna happen. Let's fix this a little bit at least. So... You mean to switch, it moves down? Or like gently sitting there getting ready or like kind of cupping over it? So something like this? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's a lean forward just a little bit. Nice. I like that. Okay, so where does Spock go? Um, maybe behind him? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, he's talking here, and since he's pointing, he should probably be on this side. So there's not... Like... Well, I don't know. What side do you think? I always can picture him on this side. I mean, you're the well, expert, so... technically... Okay, so if we're on the Enterprise, the bridge is back here, yeah? Spock's station is over here. Okay. So it kind of makes sense that he would walk up to him in this general direction, yes. then? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, are we... What are the hand availability options? Well, we got his um, mind-melding hand. His live long and prosperous hand and then a few fists a few open fists and then just general um gestures of expression yeah these type uh, yeah um well we're gonna want something a little bit neutral because we're not talking about a mock time right now which you don't understand that reference but that's okay mm -hmm. um so why don't we just stand him up behind him first and figure out okay since where... i posed kirk do you want to pose spock I'm kind of terrified to do so, but okay. The trick is just to mess with the fabric enough that it doesn't bunch up too much and looks natural. I am quite a newbie to this. So let's put this over by you so you can grab them. And then you can talk over to the microphone. Perfect. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Well, he should probably have a little gate between his two. Can you do that? No, I don't think you can. Yeah, these. You can? I'm so too scared to rip the fabric. Nice thing about this is he's got some little mobility. And you're going to have to mess with his torso a little bit to make it look a little more natural. Yeah, and his not arms. Like, like turn it slightly? Could. Uh, you just, I don't know just, like just a slight turn and then. I like it this way better. Man, that's why I stand <laughs> all the time. Does he does he normally have like a hand or an arm resting on the chair? Um, usually he just stands with his hands behind his back next to the captain. Well, you could try that. Or hands at his side. I don't think his his shoulder. Oh, they do go back, but then this is gonna pull on this fabric here. Yep. It's not gonna work. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Although, to be fair, this is the first time I've ever posted a figure. I do kind of like the idea of him having a hand on the chair. Or, or like on the back of the chair. You know, yeah. He's kind of like resting his hand there. But like that arm is so awkward. So here's what we can do, if you don't mind. No, please. 
So we can just bring it back a little bit and then bend at the elbow. Turn the hand a little bit and then hide that. So it kind of just like, we just have to mess with the height sure. here. Yeah. Okay. So that's about where it's going to sit. It's not going to fully sit, but we can do some magic with it here. So now that we have the hand where we want it, we can mess with the rest of him. So maybe we can have him looking off to the side with an arm down. Fix his boot. I don't want to mess with that nice fake leather. And then maybe just put a little bit of bend in the back arm to make it a little more dynamic. So here, now we can open up his gate, and then we want him to stand, so let's lean him forward a little bit. He's really good at this. <laughs> and then let's make sure that they're looking at the same thing. Thing, yeah, that's a really good point. Do we need, does he balance on his own? He oh. can. So let's just move this leg forward a little bit, and lean him back. Why don't we adjust the camera a little bit so you guys can see? Do you feel like you're on the bridge of the Enterprise right now? Maybe let's carefully pull this down and then turn that just slightly. I want you to join Starfleet. And then he's got kind of a head tilt going on, so let's fix that. What do you think? I think that's beautiful. It's not bad. Maybe um, like upload some of these photos to your Twitter. Oh yeah, for sure. Can we pre what a red alert? There's something on the screen. Which one was the red alert button? I just kept pressing oh. the same button. Oh <laughs> no. Okay, I gotta figure out. No, no, no the Wait. orange, the orange one. Does it not stop if I don't turn it off? Yeah, press it again. There we go. Red alert! First contact day! Man, our neighbors are gonna be like, what are they doing up there? <laughs> I like it a lot. I think, especially, like they mentioned it on the box about how not just the fact that Spock is Kirk's friend, but also that, like, it's more than just, like, oh, you're my acquaintance. And that's not a usual thing that you see from a Vulcan. Like, that really deep connection um, with a human, I suppose. So, um... I think that kind of goes to show how good of a head sculpt and figures that these are. Just the, the natural resting facial, facial expressions, especially from Spock, it's one of like a stoic facial expression but also one of the concern it's something and you would expect to see yes if you were watching the original series I'm just edit that out. yeah that's fine i um you are right though about the the different textures between the common badge well it's not it's not a common badge for them but between their um insignia there like it is raised slightly even no that's the rank no even even here it is too it's, yeah. It's a different um, texture. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I like the black collars, but I am very partial to, we're talking about cage era uniforms with the turtlenecks that are the same color. Um, I will forever love those. <laughs> but the black looks nice as well. I um, really need to try to find myself a good pair of those pants that are rolled up. Um, I think they look great. So, like, I can, I, um, love, there's so many pictures of, like, Bones with his pants rolled up, and I just love, like, with the expression on his face, but, um, one thing that's also important to mention is that it's not just, the QMX didn't, doesn't release just, uh, Spock and Kirk in the captain's chair. There's also Scotty and, um, I believe Sulu's on pre-order? Yes, Scotty, Sulu, and, um... There's one more that I can't really remember right now. But, um... That autofocus, though. There. there. Oh, that looks so nice. 
beautiful. You see some of the buttons here. It's hard to focus. That's what webcams do for you. There we go. Some of the buttons. And yeah. Here too. That looks and really then the beautiful rolled up pants. Yeah, look at that. You can see like that zipper on the side. I was trying to show them earlier, but it looked like butt. Uh, it's, oh, there yeah. It There's yeah. a lot of thought put into this too. There it is. Yeah. That looks really nice. The camera doesn't do it justice, but these boots look really nice. Okay, so here we have Spock and Kirk and the captain's chair. I could not be happier with the quality of these and with the versatility in which you can change into so many different... Um, I mean, even if you had Kirk without the captain's chair, you could still do so much with him. We didn't even bring out all the accessories that you can use. And so that's kind of fun for me. So in the future, I can think about, oh... Well, I'm going to want to change up their poses, so what do I want to do now? Do I want them to be like they're on an away mission? And Spock can have his tricorder, and Kirk can have his communicator, stuff like that. It's just really exciting to, um, first of all, have Star Trek memorabilia <laughs> as a Star Trek lover, but also to be able to really maneuver them in so many different ways, which I think is really cool. Uh, the fabric quality is amazing. Um, I already see that I got some little fuzzies on there. Um, I'm hoping that the more that I post them, that it still will retain that nice finished look that we have. I know some people steam their really <laughs> steam their figures uh, fabrics. Oh, I'm I'm not like that far into it yet, but hopefully I'll get there eventually. Uh, I think the captain's chair looks amazing. Uh, it even has this, it's painted, but it, that looks really nice. Like it almost looks like wood there and the leather on the back. Yeah, it's actually padded. So I can, I can rest easy knowing that Captain Kirk is comfy in his chair. <laughs> uh, what are your final impressions about them? Uh, like I said before, it's just, there's, there's a, Nice thing about the simplicity of the costume, because I know a lot of toys, um, a lot of figures from like Sideshow and Hot Toys, and they, they get a little complex with like the armor plating and the superheroes, and it can kind of get in the way of um, posing them, which I know some people don't buy them for the posability, mm -hmm. but this is nice that you get the authentic look, the really nice uh, head sculpts and posability with them, so that you can recreate your favorite Star Trek scenes from the original series yeah. we have someone that wants to say hello if you're okay with saying <laughs> this is our little pup who could not sit still all the way through a video but um this is wally mm -hmm. our little wally west our scarlet speedster um little silver oh. patch right <laughs> could not handle sitting still for too long but uh, to all of you Trekkies and not Trekkies out there, happy First Contact Day. Uh, go and look it up if you don't know what it is, especially in the midst of this crazy world that we're having right now. It's ever more important to kind of uh, really band together. <laughs> Cute. Um, about that, the Star Trek mentality and morality and how us helping each other can really make a difference. Um, I feel like we've... I've been hearing stuff and I've been seeing stuff that can be very scary, but we can all be here for each other. And, um, of course, show please post up all your fun First Contact Day things, all your fun Star Trek memorabilia, all your Star Trek shirts. Yeah, if you have figures, let, oh, let, yes. let T Trek you see them. Please. Um, I A few have already shared pictures of um, their QMX figures that they have post or posed. Um, and it doesn't have to be... Uh, Spock and Kirk and the Captain's Chair can be anything. I know that QMX also does um, Captain Picard, which I have and have not opened yet, but that's for another day. But uh, I will sign off with the very logical Live Long and Prosper, which I know you can do too. <laughs> uh, and uh, happy first contact day and try on. Can do both? Yes, yeah, you can. <laughs> happy first contact day, everybody! Bye.